Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel where skincare is all about progression over perfection because perfection does exist. We have gone through my favourite cleansers and today I want to talk about one of the other most important steps of a very basic skincare routine and skincare routines in general and that is the moisturiser. Yes, whether you are oily, dry, combination, normal, we can all benefit from using a moisturiser. Today I hope to introduce you to a few new brands and products and please do remember any moisturiser that I said I liked in the past, I still do like but I continue to try products so you don't have to. The first segment and product of this video is sponsored by Make. You will recognize them from my best cleansers video. I absolutely love this brand and I'm so intrigued and I was gonna feature them anyway in this video but I saw that sponsorship opportunity and I took it. They are a brand who make what they call skincare essentials and I agree they have two-step cleanse, they have an essence and they have a moisturizer and obviously not including a sunscreen. I do feel like for me that is the most basic routine I would ever do. They merge sustainable botanical materials with lab engineered natural ingredients, which I find so interesting. And this is often kind of like a, a sustainable part of skincare that I feel goes overlooked and of course synthetic ingredients as well and merge them all together to make these amazing kind of more modern takes on your basics but today we are here to talk about the succulent skin gel cream serum weight moisturizer you have to excuse the packaging it was a nice full um pump but i am i'm this this far into it now i've been using it pretty much every single day since they sent it to me i absolutely love it as the name suggests, this is a really lightweight moisturizer, but I don't want to think it's like a gel moisturizer in the sense that it just goes into your skin and kind of disappears, then you're left feeling kind of like dry and cracky. It genuinely hydrates the skin, but then leaves you with a nice nourish glow as well, which is what I like when it comes to a, mo a gel moisturizer. I don't want those gel moisturizers that leave me matte. I want them to leave me with a glow that's not gonna leave my oily skin feeling greasy. And this does that so successfully because it is that lightweight feeling on your skin. Saying that as well, you're not left with a film. It merges great with sunscreen. It doesn't peel up or anything like that. And for me, it's been enough to see me through the day and even enough to put on at night. I don't wake up feeling dry. This has prickly pear, which is actually one of my newer favorite ingredients. It's very, very hydrating. Because I don't use a whole bunch of hyaluronic acid, I'm always looking for those hydrating alternatives. And prickly pear and even cactuses in here seems to be great for that. Saying that, this does have sodium hyaluronic in, so it is going to hydrate you as well alongside glycerin which does the same job but I do really love prickly pear and cactus as hydrating um, ingredients. Of course niacinamide helps to brighten the skin even out the skin tone, control sebum aloe vera as well is very soothing calming, hydrating again it's just so um I, 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 I just reach for this every single day. For me, it's gonna sound too far-fetched because I'm I, this is a sponsored product, but you'll see me mention it in future videos. This is a perfect moisturizer for me. This is the first brand that I've gone to my manager and said, please, can you get me more of this? I never fish for free stuff, but oh my God, I need this again and again and again. Let's talk about the lab engineered naturals ingredients. I don't know if anybody cares about this as much as I do, but I find this absolutely fascinating because I people think I hate natural ingredients I don't. I just I like the merge of nature meets science rather than just nature, you know? So here they say that prickly pear and cactus extracts are sustainably sourced. Lab perfected cactus and agave extract blend that hydrates and shields skin from envi environmental stresses. We've got antioxidant molecule, multifunctional nature identical molecule mimicking the cloud berry compound that soothes skin while providing enhanced product protection. So yes, I want to know more. I might even ask if I can like Maybe have a Zoom call with them about it. I don't know. Again, I'm non-stop using their cleansers, non-stop using their moisturizers. I need to use their essence a bit more. But yes, I love this. You can see that I love this. It's nearly all gone. This is mainly air now. I got like a little bit in the bottom here. And it comes in an amazing pump top, which is what I want from all my products. Just put it in a pump. It's so much easier to use. Please, everything in a pump. And aesthetic wise, I mean, come on. It's the future. The next product is the Texture Soothing Cream from Coco Kind. I have been dying to try this brand for such a long time. And luckily for me, they sent me a load of stuff. So thank you so much. But this is a moisturizer that helps improve skin tone and texture, firmness whilst providing hydration as well. It's this really nice thick formula that doesn't go on heavy. I feel like these heavy kind of thick um, moisturizers are very old fashioned now. Whilst a lot of brands now are kind of opting for the lighter weight, 
yet hydrating and occlusive enough to kind of keep everything in, you know? They're really finding that perfect balance between the two. And I love the smell of it. It smells like English summer. I know that's really weird, but it smells like, it smells like gin and tonic with like a bit of cucumber in. It is really refreshing. It's really kind of like, oh, you know, I'll just have a quick gin and tonic. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm filming this video on three hours sleep and my puppy was up all night with a bad stomach and I didn't want him to shit in the house so I stayed up with him and he's fine this morning I'm exhausted and talking about celery what is it no cucumber I don't know oh my god saying that this does have celery in it they call it a celery complex it basically has loads of rich fatty acids in and antioxidants helping our skin look firmer feel firmer as well we also have squalane in here a skin identical ingredient that really really moisturizes the skin without feeling heavy and thick, like a greasy oil. In one of my videos, I said it's not an oily oil and someone got really annoyed with me, I can't remember why. But you know what I mean? It doesn't feel like chip fat on your face. It's incredibly kind of dry in a way, but has this smooth feel to it and locks in that hydration. I love squalane. As I said, it smells like cucumber. There is cucumber in here, which is incredibly soothing. You feel that the moment it hits your skin. It has this coolness to it. This is perfect for my kind of combination skin we have going on at the moment because it's it's light enough for my oily areas and more than enough for my drier areas as well. It kind of just molds back into place whenever you use it, it just kind of goes whoop and seeps back into place. This is the only the second product I've used from Coco Kind. I've used their cleanser before, which I absolutely loved as well. So I'm looking forward to slowly cracking open the products and hopefully sharing more, but yeah. Very, very intrigued by what else a Coco Kind has to offer. Speaking of combination skin, I was meant to share this moisturizer with you ages ago. This is my second tub. This is the Sarah Hart My Type Duo Cream by Axis Y. This is like a duo moisturizer. So we have the Ceramide U Zone Cream, a rich moisture for drier areas. And then we have the Heart Leaf, so that's this one, sorry, the white one. We have Heart Leaf T Zone Cream, supple hydration for oilier areas. And that's the blue at the top here. And this really is perfect for if you are like me and you do have that drier U zone, which is all along here. I get very irritated here as well, leading to drier skin. Then the Heartleaf T zone cream, again, super lightweight, not too dissimilar from this, but this beats it in texture and finish, but very soothing, very calming. But then they're also great to use, but all year round as well. So you can use the gel one all over your face in the summer, and then the heavier U zone one all over your face in the winter and your neck as well, it's great for your neck. So both the T and the U zone has Centella Asiatica in, which we know is really soothing, calming and healing. And it helps improve your moisture levels as well. In the T-Zone we have rice, another favorite of mine, which I benefit mostly from actually my T-Zone because, because it's brightening and it also helps reduce oil production. So obviously my oily T-Zone, there's a lot more texture there. It's where I tend to break out more. So I'm often left with uneven tone and texture and usually more sebaceous filaments on my nose and sometimes blackheads too. We have Allantoin as well in both the T and the U-Zone. Again, helping to heal the skin. And in the U-Zone we have something called Pearl Slane. Purslane, <laughs> which is great for sensitive skin. But yes, I absolutely love this. A great all-rounder. And if you're on a bit of a budget, not that this is not pricey. How much is it? It's $27. But this is your two moisturizers. This is your day moisturizer, your night cream, your summer and your winter. You know, you, you get like a two-in-one here. And it does last as well. It lasts quite a long time. Of course, I can't do this without talking about the Glow Recipe Watermelon Pink Juice Moisturizer. One of my two real go-tos out of these two. As I also Glow Recipe, this gives you that instant glow, not just from looking greasy or having wet skin, but it provides that kind of like sheen on top of the skin that Glow Recipe are known for. Their staple at watermelon, which is hydrating, but also uh, a source of antioxidant. Hyaluronic acid, so it's hydrating. Jasmine and peony as well, um, which they say is brightening and moisturizing. To be honest, I just love the way this makes my skin look and feel. It does its job, it moisturizes, it hydrates, it makes my skin look healthy, dewy, and awake. And as you can see, it's just, I use it up like crazy. I'm gonna have to crack another one open, which I do have backups of this because I love it. I actually prefer this to their, the night version. Not the version, but they got a night cream as well, which I don't find half as hydrating or moisturizing as this. So I would use this morning and night as well. Absolutely love, just touching this one because I talk about it all the time. But finally, we have the Rovectin Seeker Care Balm. This isn't a moisturizer that I use all over my face. I can do, 
but I only really use it on those really irritated areas. So sometimes all over my face, but mainly down by my sideburns where I get very irritated on my rosacea prone cheeks. In my T-zone, if I've over exfoliated, this is great at soothing and healing any kind of damaged or irritated skin. This does have a very slight pinky tinge to it, which is the calamine in here, which really does instantly calm down any kind of irritation. So any itchy, burning, irritated skin, this is a great one just to generously put over your skin. We have madacasticide in here, which helps with the dark spots and uneven skin tone that can come with irritated skin. Centella asiatica as well, great for the redness that comes along with that irritation. And we also have green tea as well, so great antioxidant, again, calming, soothing. I also find this helps with my rosacea as well in the sense that when I am flared up, and very, very red. This, not instantly, but this adds that kind of calming sensation to it. And my rosacea cools down and calms down a lot quicker than usual. Could be because of the green tea. But yeah, I have been using this for years. It's one of quite a few products I haven't had to help calm my skin when I really need it to calm the fuck down. If I've done something damaging to my skin, or like I said, if I just need to bring my skin back a few kind of like um, notches. What? I don't know. Three hours sleep, remember? <laughs> So there we go. I hope I introduced you to a few new brands, maybe a few new products. Please do go check out Make if you haven't checked them out already. They're a brand I'm genuinely super, super excited about. Um, again, thank you for sponsoring today's video. You will be seeing a lot more of them on my channel. If you want to know more about the cleansers, go check out my cleanser video. And Coco Kind as well. I want to check out more of them. But let me know any brands that maybe I don't know. Let me know if there's any brands you think I might not know of in the comments down below. To be fair, if they're Western brands, I usually don't know about them, but let me know. You can check out some more kind of like best of videos. I don't know, some product reviews here, some general light entertainment here, and I'll see you over there.